Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and welcome back with more Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 2, War of the Abyss. Now, full disclosure, I have to tell you that I did have to uh, redo pretty much everything in Ilian Castle up to this point. Had to do with an issue with the recording. Everything's fine now, but I think I'm like a slightly higher level. Everybody's level 16. Um, also, I uh, in the last video, you saw I kind of screwed up, but I didn't this time. I killed all the enemies in this area before talking to the bartender, which healed me up to full before I can move on. Uh, but pretty much everything else is the same. I think I might have just, like, killed slightly more guys on the way in here. Okay, so, uh, let me, let me just save it real quick. Alright, let's, um, go over to... Oh, no, there's these guys over here. Let's start with you. Hey, get back here. All right, we got the Varus Behemoth guys. All right, everybody's at full, so I don't do that. The hell, Nectar. Uh, attack him. And the mages will take him out with Arcane Thunder, as I am wont to do. Oh, left that guy with five hit points, and of course he smacks Ziri around a little bit. Alright, there we go. I got two skill scions out of that. There's some LPers out there calling them Skyons. I really don't understand that. It's, uh... I can understand if you, like, you know, fuck up on, like, made-up fantasy words like Magus or Ativian or Shenandora. But Scion? I... That is an English word. That is not even something that Kazara Studios made up. Oh, all right. Skill scions and attribute scions. I was hitting it too fast. Because I was redoing things before, so I was just kind of powering through it to get up to this point, so. Next tour. You got a Varus Grunt and a Varus Behemoth. And I may just sweep up. Very cool. Is that the best you got? And I got a skill scion and an attribute scion. This guy. I don't feel like these are just two Varus grunts. I don't feel like I need Nick Thor to really take them out. I will use Arcane Thunder though, just make it a little bit faster. They don't hit that hard. I know blocked is very good. I'm already ganging up on this mofo. Uh, I was hoping to get it in before he did that, but well, it's just vice, no big deal. Good night. I got an attribute scion out of that. Ugh! Die, you bastards! Die! Oh, wait, did I talk to the one down there? Yeah. As long as there's life left in me, I won't stop fighting. Alright. Gotta get back into recording mode here. So here we have a Varus Grunt and a Varus Captain. Hit them with Nestor. Alright. I have a feeling the captain's gonna survive this mostly because Isis didn't get to hit him. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes. Well, geez, Isis. I'm saying that your hit made a difference. I guess it didn't make that much of a difference. And an attribute scion and a level 5 wisdom scion. Alright. Uh, let's go over to the, um, whatchamacallums, the, uh, Urchin Skill. I kept wanting to say commons, but that's the other side that I did already. So the commons is clear, the, the main throne room area is clear, we're doing the Merchant's Guild, and, uh, nah, 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 these guys. And of course there's the northern area of the castle, which I will do next. Well, I will do that last. Why aren't you a dipshit? Oh, yeah, I'll need to heal here. It's okay. That's what Isis is for. That's what Isis is for, motherfucker. Yeah, 
Oh, shit. Attack, Magus! Not the best you got. Getting close to another level. Everybody got two attribute scions there. I'll be damned if I'm going to lose my store to them. All right. Varus Captain and a Varus Grunt. I think I'll have exactly one more shot of Nephthor. Blocked it! Alright, take him the fuck out. Well, that one was a bleeder. Magus, level 17. Zeria, level 17. Dasan, level 17. And Isis, level 17. Again, Attribute Scion and a level 5 Wisdom Scion. And, you know, you could grind up your... Because, I mean, they give you a lot of experience if you want. Open the sign grid and respawn the green guys. It won't respawn the Varus captains, but you could do that. So that's the Merchant's Guild's clear. Let's go up to the northern area of the castle, just called North Wing. Nothing uh, fancy or schmancy about that. And here we have two Varus grunts. Ah, oh, well, fuck. Actually, use a uh, ether on Magus. He's immediately ether on him. There we go. What it do? What it do? You're down. Lock the fuck out of that shit. I ain't not stand a chance. Two attribute scions. Alright, here we got another two Varus grunts, no big deal here. I got like one more shot of Nephthor, I'm saving it for the next uh, Varus captain. On. I'll spam the hell out of Arcane Thunder though. Leave Isis alone! I'm serious! Oh, who blocked the shit out of that motherfucking shit? Let's heal. Let us heal. Yes, let us. Alright. Ah! Oh. Well, you both suck. Jesus. What the hell was that? Alright, we'll let the. Second generation here, do it. Okay, two attribute scions there. Come here, you. I don't like you very much. And here we have a Varus Grunt and a Varus Behemoth. Yeah, slash in your face. Arcane Thunder. Comes Vice. Yeah, Magus is stunned. That is not good. Well, hopefully these two can take out that guy, and then I can X slash him, and there's a chance it may kill it. Probably not. Yeah. Came close, but not quite. We'll once again, let the younger generation hash it out. Oh, well, fuck. It's gonna be Zeria after all. Thank you, Zeria. I got a skill scion and an attribute scion. Right, get over here. Oh, get over here. Get your fucking face over here. Same group. Varus Grunt and a Varus Behemoth. Slash. Arcane Thunder. Spice. All right, just hit her. Didn't do anything else. Siphon bite. Blocked it. Right, 
should have been attacking him. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I get hit again with Vise. Well, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> Here, just heal. Thank you, Dasan. The best you got. I got a skill scion and an attribute scion. Oh, is this guy left over here? Get, get, get over here, get. Get your fucking face over here, son. Arcane Thunder! Really, guy? Vice. Important thing is, I did not get stunned. Here comes Scython Bite. That also didn't do much of anything. Target Bed Behemoth and Fire. I'm not gonna be able to kill unless I critical anyway, so. Die. There we go. Well, that was a bleeder. And I got a skill scion and an attribute scion. I'll take them on. I'm sure you will. Our civilians are as fierce in battle as we are. Alright, fuck them up. This is the last one, so, you know, no reason to uh, hold back at all. Okay, Isis, did you just not do that? weird. I'll have to test that again. That might have been an error caused by the latest patch, which I'll have to let Tanya know. Oh, no, here it comes. Alright. Yeah, sometimes there's a delay on Airblade. It's kind of like, it's one of those weird things. Like, in the first game, there was a delay on Dasan's Ignis spell, and it only happened with Dasan. It's just a weird thing. And there, it's like, just that one spell that only happens with Isis. It's something we've never been able to really figure out. Alright, well, this will end it. Alright. And an attribute sign and a level 5 wisdom sign. This is all we can hope to accomplish here. Let us take Ziara and the other survivors out of here and await the Arcanus' return. Speaking of the Arcanus, it's time to do that. Come on, girl, let's really take it to him. So we just have to fight these ships. Um. Use the regular energy cannon for these guys, since you can take them out in one shot. These are uh, Salus class ships. There we go. That's one down. Okay, two more Salus class ships. Let's, again, let's not waste any magic. Energy cannon. See, they do start to get bigger. Okay, three more Salus class ships. This is not as worrying as the Apollyon fight. You really don't have to um, use too much strategy. It's a lot easier. Now we got bigger ships to deal with. Okay, so these are the larger uh, Fantor class ships, and we do want to use Inferni Blast on them. Otherwise, it would take two shots to take down each one. And as you can see, they do a lot more damage, so you don't want to be uh, sticking around for too much longer. All right, and now three of them. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do one more, okay, and then we're not going to kill the th this one just yet. As you see, my uh, hit points are a little down, so we're going to do damage control, especially since we know we have a big one coming up. And then you just want to start bracing for a while, so that you could uh, 
heal up. See, now you're only taking like about 300 left, you know, and you, you gain back more than you'll get hit if you keep racing while you have damage control going. It's not a whole lot, but it, it helps. Mainly you're trying to gain back the magic that you've used. Let me use damage control again. Once my magic is full, or at least close to being full, I'll just take this guy out. And it's really just preparing for the next battle. Alright, that's uh, close enough. Let's take him out. Okay, here comes the big fucker. Alright, you got the two little guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use damage control. And then you're going to use your regular energy cannon to take out the little guys. Because they'll chip away at you, you know, and you, you don't want that. So there, those are the uh, regular energy cannon on the sailor split ships, and then we'll take out the AFS Animus. And by the way, um, if you haven't figured out what AFS stands for, it's Abyssal Fleet Service. Yeah, sometimes they do that thing that hits you three times. You can see he's got quite a bit of hit points. Not as many as Apollyon, but... You know. Try cannon again. I mean, that's about 1,500. That, you know, that sucks. Renew my damage control. I'm only gonna brace if I'm in real trouble. It doesn't take much to take him out. Alright, now I'm in trouble. It's still a lot of damage. Ugh, gotta catch him not doing tri cannon. Basically, you gotta get a little lucky. Two more hits would do it. Unfortunately, the same could be said for me. Oh, I let my fucking damage control run out. I could be in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, good, it's only energy cannon. Alright. That's what you want them to do when you're bracing. I'm going nowhere fast, let's just fuck him up. I will survive the next hit and he won't, so... Good night. Huzzah! Huzzah! Looks like we've rooted him, boys. Well done. Now let's get back. Let's go. Now let's go and pick up the Emperor and his party. The crystal has suffered no damage, Captain. Good, good. We'll be sitting down soon to pick up the Emperor and his party. The crystal! Oh no, Captain. The crystal is no longer fused with the diadem. Someone took it. Search the ship. Make sure there's no damage to the crystal. Aye, Captain. Now we've lost the Inferni diadem. That sucks. And look who it is that took it. My lord, here is the Inferni diadem. Finally. Well done, Ariadne. It would appear as though your method of torturing her inner essence into extinction has worked out in your favor, my lord. Do I detect a hint of doubt that my plan worked to perfection, General? 
No, my lord, of course not. I knew that they would have to land near Ilion in order to combat our troops there. Sending Ariadne on board while using her invisibility and then waiting for the right moment. It was a plan of pure genius. I owe a debt of gratitude to the Dark Lord for being so predictable. If I may say, my lord, you did take a chance that diffusing the diadem from their flight crystal did not wipe out everything, including the diadem itself. You dare question my judgment? No, of course not, my lord. I was only ruminating on how impressive your mind truly is when it comes to risk and strategy. Enough of your blather. It's time for me to lay claim to their world. Ariadne, I request your presence while Lord Anto conducts the infusion. Yes, General? Time for the final infusion. Shh, lower your voice. What can I do for you, General? I know your inner self is not yet extinguished, and I have need of it. Trenin. Develsi. Splayanor. Arulach! Come forth, Ariadne of Shenandora. Infuse with the Inferni Diadem. How? Why? <laughs> Finally, their world will soon be remade in my image. There is no honor nor glory to be had in a dead world. When we meet again, we, meet, we will be enemies. Until then, Ariadne. You saw nothing, heard nothing. That's an order, understand? Yes, General. Abadas! Yes, my lord. The Dark Lord and his comrades will no doubt mount a counteroffensive on our Nexus Towers soon. I want you to head for Ixun. Well, Ariadne, you will go to Aethys. <coughs> Sorry about that. Destroy any who seek to enter into either tower. Of course, my lord. Yes, my lord. In the meantime, I'm going to establish a tower of my own on Senefaria's lands. From there, I will obliterate everything that lives. <laughs> my ultimate vengeance is at hand. That's not good, huh? Here is what we know. An abyssal snuck on board when we, land when we landed near Ilion. They managed to defuse the diadem from the flight crystal, and now we can assume that Anto is about to invade our world with his physical presence. I do not know what will happen when he does, but I do know that we cannot waste any time. We need to attack the two Nexus Towers and destroy them. That will cause the abyss to lose their foothold into our world. At that point, we'll be able to take the fight directly to Anto. Your thoughts? The Elemental Mistresses have promised that when we attack one of the towers, they will be the diversion, so that we can get in there. And we'll not be able to pull it off a second time. Then we worry about the second tower later on. Whichever tower we pick first is the one we focus on destroying. I agree with Drea. We'll deal with the problem of the second tower when we've dealt with the first. Yeah, I say let's get in there and kick some serious abyssal ass. As long as we don't run into any giant flying roaches or mosquitoes, I'm good. I echo my counterpart's sentiment, especially the flying roaches part. I think we're all in agreement, mages. Is no one going to mention trying to rescue Galena? No. Father? Mages, she's your wife. I know who she is, Majara. I cannot risk everyone, everything for one person even if that person is my wife. Destroying Anto and his forces is paramount above all else, no matter the personal cost. What the hell? Oh no. It's him. He's in our world now. Shit. We know what we must do. Once we are fully prepared, we will head for Recalcher to pick up the Elemental Mistresses, and we will head for one of the Nexus Towers. That will be next time. I'll see you then.